Last year, I didn't quite finish the Great Divide mountain bike route. Cold and snow slowed my progress and I had to stop at Colorado. You don't get second chances often, but this was it. I got a brand new bike and gear and a chance to ride the mountains again. Hours after I started, I was reminded that I am not in charge of this movie. I was not the one holding the camera and asking the questions. There we go! Say a few words, Johan! It's British Columbia? No, it's Alberta. It's Alberta! <laughs> and it's beautiful. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. And how are you feeling today? Um, well, I, to be honest, I started off feeling kind of bummed because I've already done a lot of this before. Yes. But the moment I hopped on the trail, it was just different. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited to see how far I can get today and tomorrow and the day after. Good. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there. My name is Alan. I live in Canmore, Alberta. There's, uh, there's something here that is quickly vanishing in the world, and that is wilderness. Yep. So all we have to do, Johan, is step off the road here 50 feet. And as long as it's not Saturday like it is today, <laughs> We'll be outnumbered by the bears. Yeah. <laughs> My pockets got him heavy from your pig's and I pull open all Sally's dreams. All these old dust roads made me think pain. Of the day you became my heroine. Just as thou said, wild horses running freely. Hey there, Teddy. As my oh. dreams are falling down like snow, when you see that place so can good. tell a story, uh -huh. then I know it is time to go. But I recall when you said you would fall. No, we know that. that picture of a bird, and in this cruel red form, I can. I think I really like my jacket. <laughs>
are riding now on the, out the ferny. Yeah. Anyway, there we go. I'm headed up to Carby Pass again after I uh, got a new tire. I did some mountain biking in the ferny. Yeah, that's the rock. Then I went all the way down there. If a truck comes or something, I can try to hitch a ride to where I stopped yesterday and then I won't have to uh, go all the way up for the next 25k. We're rolling! the bike route through the mountains are the logging roads. Hundreds of kilometers of dirt, rocks and mud constructed only to access the forest. Rough road! Well, you can call it a road, I guess. <laughs> I came here, I'm turning 60 this month. Mm -hmm. And I was brought here by my parents when I was like four years old. That's when the road first came in. There used to be a sawmill here. Mm -hmm. and there used to be a big, big pile of sawdust here. And I used to play on it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I, I come back every now and then. And Instead of continuing the bike route, I headed east over the divide to Alberta and to check out Waterton National Park. Unfortunately, the Waterton Park, uh, the campground was full and it was going to cost me like 60 bucks to even get a tent site uh, next to the RVs, which is going to suck. So I just went out a bit and I asked one of the farmers and he said, uh, yeah, I can just camp anywhere. So this is the campsite for tonight. It's actually, I don't know, I think, I think it would beat any other campsite. Before you walk away So little bird On a pretty fence Can I sit with you Until the rain ends Until the rain ends Until the rain ends Until the rain ends Loving this. Woo! So could you stay one 
my head down here. Pain. That way? Or that Ease way? My pain. Um before you walk away. The, the countryside is just amazing. It's an amazing country, you know, and more people need to get out and take a look at it. They need to get, you know, out of the city and they need to know that there's these things called wilderness, you know. And it's it's really nice. And um, it's exhausting, you know, riding every day. I've been basically riding every single day since I left Antelope Wells. So uh, what's uh, your favorite part about being here? I guess just pushing myself to go do it, you know, and knowing that I'm like actually getting it done. Back on the bike route, I shared the thrill of riding fast and far. With my new bike and the long summer days, I was doing in a day what took me two or three days last year. I had places to be, friends to see and detours to do. My first goal was Kalispell, Montana. Oh, there is a drop. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's go to the green drop. Yeah. <laughs> you can bend the back wheel pretty badly if you don't land properly. Bend my face. Or face, yeah. I worry more about that. Yeah, it's beautiful up here. Yeah, that's nice. You don't get much done. No. In the winter time you want to ski on the weekends, in the summertime you want to hike and bike on the weekends. So it's hard to have a lot of projects at home to do. That canoe that's sitting in my garage with clothes in it. The roof, oh yeah, like you the told me one? that yeah. last year. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> nice. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I'd rather do other things. Sorry? Yeah, this is really good. Oh, there's a little chipmunk. <laughs> All right in there, I saw Huckleberry. Put our bikes off the trail a little bit. So made it to the top after about 120 miles today. This is my trail um, and it's 8.30 p.m. I was thinking of trying to make it over to Vando, but I'll, I'll go and check a, a perspective camp spot, which might be pretty good just down this tiny road. I'm actually, uh, once I get to Lincoln or Helena, I'm going to hop on the Continental Divide Trail mm -hmm. and do as much of it as I can. On your bike? Yeah. On the actual trail? Yeah. Because two people did it last year and I was talking to them, so yeah. um, they they were pretty happy with how it turned out. Yeah. Could be a bit tough, lots of pushing. Yeah, so you start from McDonald Pass. 
There is a Diak over here. I can buy it over here. Oh, look, there's a single track. My new friends fed me a great dinner and during a momentary lapse of judgment, I promised to go mountain biking when I get to Helena. They also told me that over the next pass, there are a lot of bears. So I had to make sure to make noise. Attention all bears! Please fasten your seat belts and go home! goes round and round never out of space and they come like the buffalo skinners out of every place if the moon comes and visits it gets tight here for a while on this old world of mine on this Old world of mine Have you seen the old man Walking off his road Hoping That the willows grow The Great Divide bike road was amazing But I was yearning for more challenge New mountains to climb And more single track to ride From here I have the option to ride parts of the Continental Divide Trail. And uh, I'm gonna make my way up here in granny gear, of course. Then, as I made my way down this untouched and beautiful road, it really hit me. I'm not gonna tell you how, how tough this is. I'm just gonna tell you how beautiful this place is. <laughs> I only did 23 miles, and that's all day of hard work, hard pushing. Um, it's really tough. It's some of these trails are steep, 
and sometimes I can't even bike down. I have to uh, push my bike down. But it's amazing. It's very beautiful, very peaceful, and just different. It didn't get better. I spent all day pushing the bike up a narrow, rocky trail, but it was easier to stop and smell the flowers, enjoy the view, and best of all, talk to the hikers. It was literally smiles, not miles. And what do you think the best part of being here is? Uh, I really like being, being in nature myself. Um, like truly in, in nature. So, you know, we, we filter our water from the streams. We don't have any uh, noise pollution from society. Uh, we take our time to swim in lakes, uh, look at mountains, uh, sometimes look at like animals that we, that we come across. Hopefully, I think I'm near the top, almost there. Yeah, you know, you're gonna have some switchbacks that are gonna take you pretty steep pretty fast, but then you have some nice um, improved trail. Hi. Wow, dude. I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. Hey, is that a big Agnes? Yep. That's what I got. Nice. What's your name? Yeah. Johan. Johan? Johan. Johan. Rachel. Nice Rachel. to meet you. And you are? Lisa. Lisa? Morgan. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you guys from? Uh, I live in Mo near Los Angeles, near Disneyland. Uh -huh. I kind of live here in Montana, kind of in my car. Nice. Yeah. Oh, here's my way to Seattle. Here. Cool. You're gonna go through a nice pass up there, and you're gonna go down to two lakes, Slag and Melt Lakes. Uh -huh. And it's good fishing in the lower one. I stayed there, but I don't have a fishing pole. It's a nice place to stop and marvel. Yeah, cool. Have a good one. Okay, bye bye. You see a place like this? Wow. <laughs> really nice. Yeah. Man, you need a new pair of boots. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I got a pair down in Lima, which is pretty far. Yeah. So I might do the Great Divide up until there and throw some duct tape on so those. Are you going northward? South. Oh, south. Mm -hmm. So do, do they normally eat evergreens like this one over there? Yeah, no, really mm -hmm. Can I pet them? Are they okay? If you pet him low on his neck, he won't. Mm -hmm. But he won't want to be petted on his head. Oh, okay. Yeah, because those look mean. Cold. You can do it. You can do it. Mm. Yeah, he doesn't low. know you. Low on the neck. Low, low, low. There you go. See? Mm. It's kind of like if I went run up to you and started petting on you, you'd yeah, think yeah, that was pretty like, weird. Whoa, what's you know? what's happening? Yeah. What, what are their names? This is Salvador and that is Aspen. Nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> then ever have troubles going up and down? Um, I've gone through a few mm. lungs. Oh, uh, I've had this trip? For, no, no. Uh, for on, uh, I've been doing this for doing the Continental Divide for four years. I'm happier here than trying to deal with all the problems and all the mm. dysfunction of you know society. Hmm. Not yeah. So much less things to worry about. Do I have enough water? Do I have enough food? Then. Absolutely. <laughs> work on, uh, Is he thinking... complaining or? Yeah. He just mm. Mm. complains a lot. Mm. <laughs> work on thinking happy thoughts. Nice. Mm. Find, finding happiness. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Take care, Johan. Have a good one. I decided not to push my bike bare feet for the next week or so and instead hit the bike route to Lima, where a new pair of shoes awaits me. Perhaps the biggest realization so far is how many people are out here and having the time of their lives. From the lightning boats running on nuts and candy and covering 40 miles a day, to those who seek the peace and quiet. The people who have hiked it for years, and those like me, only here for a day or two. It was all wonderful and humbling. 
inspiring and beautiful and I couldn't wait to see what's next. Ew. All the wolves tonight, they are creeping round the edges of my mind. And all the crickets, they are singing all the words well, I couldn't find. But it's too Teton, just off the Great Divide. There's the road over there, and uh, looks like it might kind of rain or something. The beautiful thing about what we learned is we planned in the beginning a little bit of our trip, we stopped planning, and it's just nice to not have a plan. Sometimes it's not nice because you always have to look for places to sleep and stay, but most of the time we just go where we want to go. And if it's a highway, then it's probably because we like driving a lot of K's to somewhere. Mm -hmm. And if it's off-road like this, then we probably like this. He said, everything you buy owes you a little bit. Owes you? O owns you. Owes you a little bit, because you have to spend time. Maintenance, or you buy a TV to watch it, or you buy a boat to use it, you buy a second car to use it. And he said, the less you own, the less it owns you, and the more time you have for yourself. And it's true. And her name is Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> nice. She's a little bit dirty from driving. We drove having fun. This road. <laughs> it, was, it was wet and deep puddles, so uh -huh. we had fun. So you're from Brown. How, how come you're doing south to north? Because uh, I want to ride home. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I wanna, wanted to ride to his home. Plus it's easy to get on the border from Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Riding with what was your name again? Alex. Alex from Toronto. What's up? Headed back to uh, Canada. And what's your favorite thing about bicycle touring? We get to eat a lot and then lose weight. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> we always skinny. You can eat a lot. Every Asian buffet I hit up. No regrets. <laughs> so the good news is. Not a single, well there's one, two, three, three clouds in the sky. Um, and the bad news is that my campsite is being taken over by cows. They've been uh, slowly moving towards my tent. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. <laughs> Whoa! Yo, did you just blow your nose on me? Hey, cuties! And they're gone. Oh, riding on to the of New Orleans. Yeah, no touch from Monday morning rail. Fifteen cars and fifteen restless riders. Three conductors, twenty-five sacks of mail. All along the southbound I see the train pulls on from Kentucky, rolling past the houses, farms, and fields. Passing trains that have a name, great yard full of old black men, and the graveyards of the rusted automobile. I said, Good morning, America, how are you? I said, Don't you know me? I'm your native son. I'm the train that calls the city of New Orleans. I'll be gone for a hundred miles when the day is done. Hey, baby, come here. Dealing cards with an old man in the new. club car. Fine, you can have it. Any hey, point they no one can even score. Pass the paper bag that holds the bottle. Can't feel the wheels are grumbling to the floor. And the sons of Logan Porter and the sons of engineers and their bottles of magic and carpet made of steel. Brothers with their baby sleep, rocking to the gentle beat, and the rhythm of the rails is all they please. Somebody else told me that there was this valley, and I'm just gonna camp right here on the ground. It's pretty high, like almost 11,000 feet, which is like 3,000 meters, so it's gonna be super cold. And this is the view. The only problem is, and you can't see it, but down there, right on the bottom, there's two black bears, and they're uh, looking for food. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have uh, not very good dreams tonight. But... Most hikers I met earlier suggested this as their favorite spot. And it was true, one could not ask for anything more. But it's also important to find the beauty everywhere you go, because things won't always be that way. For three days I was lost in the mountains, moving along imposing walls of rock, enjoying the beautiful flowers and having staring contests with squirrels. These buggers don't even blink.
last year I was here, things were different. The temperatures plummeted from about 0 to negative 30 centigrade in a single day. It was some of the most difficult and dangerous time of the entire trip. Okay. I mean, I've seen I've seen traffic every day, so if uh, okay. something happens so with the bike or crazy people out here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're not even wearing a hat. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hi. Hi, cutie. Are you hot, buddy? Yeah, you are. Big dog. Hmm. Come here. So I think uh, the dogs want me to check the trailer or something. I don't know. We'll see. Because the doors left open, which is kind of weird. So. Huh? Like, like what? The sheep? No. Like the Coke? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so the dogs were barking. I was like, what's happening? So, unfortunately, Marco must be somewhere else, so I couldn't uh, go and visit him and say hi. Uh, he's the man that last year he gave me water and beans when I was up here in the winter. It was very, very, very cold. I like it up here. Lots of wild animals. Nobody bothers you. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> no TV, no nothing. I no, it's good. I, I'm, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. I've been working in the fields with the prayer on my back. I've been hoping that the soil would someday make us rich. And all this freedom I'll make free. And if it be the death of me, making memories in this ground, the better times are coming. to move so don't you cry oh baby don't you bye bye that is shut now and that's all we Hey, chocolate milk over there in the back is whipped cream then we have cheesecake that brown one over there is Big Mac and I'll see him in McDonald's Unfortunately, there was a little mishap and I lost a whole bunch of footage for the first part of Colorado. The ride on the bike route was a breeze. A fox tried to steal my bike at night and I got to do some spectacular parts of the Continental Divide Trail. The trail does not look very promising at all, but it should be doable. Just take it easy and slow and uh, 
maybe walk some of the tougher sections. No, it was a deer. Where? Okay, right there. Look at it. Where? Oh my god. You don't see the deer? There he is! <laughs> He's looking at you. <laughs> Wanna get out and say hi? Yeah. Oh, it's bending my pliers before it's bending. <laughs> is that keeping it up fairly well? Well, just as we go. Okay, this isn't useless. Let's not do that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, the connection between the exhaust pipe and the muffler, not so much, but... Everything else. Everything else. <laughs> the good news is it's cool up here. And the sun keeps you just warm enough. There's a really cool breeze. Open air, open air, so much open air. They moved on. Very nice scenery up here out of Breckenridge. Um, I'm following up on uh, a trail that the bus driver suggested to me a few days ago. Uh, so I'm supposed to go a little bit up and then trail looks like there's switchbacks over there going across on the other side. The sun is coming up to shine in my coffee cup. The only way to shine in. The first coffee by myself, the first with no one else. The flavor changed a lot. There is nothing 
warm beside me There is nothing on my side When the sun is going down There is no one else around I'm dreaming, or I'm dreaming not First night by myself The first with no one else But dreaming changed a lot So, making my way up a uh, mountain pass in Colorado It's almost it is 12,000 feet and uh, it's been a while since I've had some rain but uh, it kind of reminds me that it's still very beautiful with the rain and the clouds It's a beautiful place I love it here The sun is coming up to shine in my coffee cup not the only one to shine in The first coffee by myself Is not the first with no one else My dreaming changed a lot There was something born beside there is something on my side There is something warm beside me There is something That big right park. Yeah. <laughs> He's from Bulgaria. Right on, Bulgaria. Yeah. Long way. Enjoy your ride, check it out. Enjoy hey, your run. Around, man. <laughs> hey, have a good evening. Thank you, you too. Uh, Bulgaria. Yeah. That's a long ride. How'd you get across the ocean? Oh, well, that was in 2003 when I came to Canada. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where are you from? Where did you, have you, are you on a huge trek? Yeah, I'm going from Alaska to Argentina and then not sure where yet. Yeah. Alaska to Argentina <laughs> to Cement Creek. You're not exactly going the shortest route. No, it's it's been already a year since I started, so <laughs> you know, checking out all the small trails. This is just an, another evening stroll. I don't know. When I saw you running, I was like, "What? I thought I was badass for riding a bike here." Well, it's just a ten, it's like a nine mile run today. <laughs> so, just taking my dog out. Nice, but. This is what I do every day. Really? You know. That's awesome. Right here. Got to take this dog out. She's she's living a good life. Yeah, you are too. Well, yeah. <laughs> you got a little bit of spare time on your hands there. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> no, I have until October 15th to get out of the USA, so Oh, for a visa component. Oh, yeah. money for food. Sorry? Money for food. Um, I you work say? I work two months of the year in Canada uh -huh. uh, planting trees. <laughs> so I get to kind of travel rest of the year. Well, how do you make that much money in two months? Oh, it's not that much money. It's just that traveling is cheap right. <laughs> on a bicycle anyway. Right. You just need food. Pretty much. You just need food. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yeah. Half men, half mud. Now, I guess. While I was.
was pushing my bike in the forest, Arrow and Bob, whom I met in Utah last year, were busy changing flat tires across America on a tandem. I guess the hills killed the tires and us. Carol runs the homeless shelter in St. George, Utah, and is cycling across America to raise awareness and help break the cycle of poverty. They have the tradition of singing at every new state, and I was lucky enough to meet them in Colorado. Right. We are off! 7,154 feet feels like 9,000. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains. Help me. Sound like a breeze. <laughs> Country <laughs> roads take me home to the place. I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home. Johan's crazy. He's going to take off on the tandem by himself downhill. I bailed off. I hope it doesn't crash. Me too. Let's catch your road. Take me home. Where I belong. Go, go on. Woo. You're missing a run. West Virginia. Come to my mind. Take me home. Country road. Hey, Bear. Where are we gonna go? Where are we going, Bear? Where? Where? You ready to go? Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Move it! Is that the trail? No. What? <laughs> Back into the puddle. Schofield Pass and then towards Grand Junction, uh, the Cocapelli Trail, White Rim Trail, and then Montrose, I think, uh, and then Colorado Trail. And there's cows everywhere occupying this meadow. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. like this is life changing. Yeah. I don't know how you can do an adventure like you on your bike or the walk that we're doing and that not change your life. Yeah, it's absolutely. We don't want it to end. We don't want to go home to our home state of Alabama, <laughs> to our house. We want to continue um, the adventure and the ministry we're doing and we just want to continue. In a land overtaken by, by cows, one man who bike uphill in granny gear Hey beauty. Laugh about a day you left my home And laughing I had ran out the door The sun was running in the blue sky And I and tried to fall in the back of life The land made her to see as calm as eyes The comfort of his peace filled up my mind Sunset persuaded my senses to rest And I fell asleep thinking about a past That he our bless will give up to roll And he our bless 
that kind of stuff. There we go. To roll. Lying by the fire in my window. Dream between the spans, oh yellow dots. And it's a bowl of my imagination, I'm not in shape. Moon sent the skim over the hill. While the fireflies know they appear. Trees frame these visions of perfect form. The harmony between nature and man. And the artless will give up to roll. They're pulling, they're going after it. Hey, 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 leave it. Go. No. Hey, hey. Whoa, okay. So I've made it to the Kokepeli Trail, starting right here. Um, bike's pretty loaded. I've got about 10 liters of water for the next uh, about two and a half days. So while nobody's looking, I'm gonna start pushing my bike up because it's gonna be too much energy to bike. Trees rare as visions of perfect bone The harmony between nature and man The Argus will give up to roll And the Argus will give up Oh, definitely run out of water and now I have about two left and I'm not even halfway so I went to this small town to try and ask people for water but there's nobody living here the trail was absolutely amazing but I've had it with the heat once I hit the Colorado River I bombed down the highway to Moab slept in a random field out of town and on the next day, I climbed up towards Montrose, the White Rim Trail we have to wait for another time. <laughs> oh, there we go! <laughs> How did it get out? Well, I beat the cows and she stood right by me as you go. I can't block the gate and drive the tractor too. Oh yeah. Just following what the sign says, gotta go slow. Meet Tony. I first ran into him last year and spent few amazing days in town. We rolled out and he managed to get five flats in a single flat. This year he took me out mountain biking and then tried to get me drowned in the river. I was finally off to rejoin the Great Divide bike route, but first I get to ride some nice Jeep roads and the Colorado Trail. Where, where is the bike lane? <laughs> oh. 
Nice. Where are you headed? I'm headed that way. Yeah? Yeah. Just riding? Yeah. Where'd you start? Where'd Alaska. <laughs> Wait, what? Son of a bitch. Alaska. <laughs> you rode here from Alaska. Stony Pass, uh, advancing slowly in granite gear. Which one? Okay. <laughs> See, I always wanted to be a cowboy. I'm getting there. Yeah. Me too. I see him that way. Okay. I'm enjoying this. Okay. This is good. He said he's fine. <laughs> Escaping cow town. Yeehaw. Oh, no, I'm just gathering cows right now. Is it is it kind of difficult just you know having them all over the place? Yeah, they're all over the place. I gathered them off this mountain just barely. Whoa. And off this mountain. <laughs> when you do it in the classroom, you get a bad grade. But when you do it out in the real life, dividing by zero has a lot more devastating consequences. With only a little bit of time remaining, I headed down the Great Divide mountain bike route to New Mexico and then south. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountain and the Shenandoah River. is old there older than the trees but younger than the mountains and they're growing like a breeze it's 
country roads. If you had to describe your experience so far in three words, what would you say? Sorry? Africa. Africa, why? Because I think people don't know the nature here is so big and it must be as remote and as big as in Africa. <laughs> so this is how you tie food up a tree. Yeah, the... You go around this tree. <laughs> Okay. So I'm filming. Yep. So uh, how is it going today? How are you today? We're out to barbecue in New Mexico and we're going to Cuba. The road is very beautiful. Have a misty taste of moonshine with a teardrop in my eye. Take me home to the place where I belong. West Virginia, mountain line. Take me home. Looks like there's no pie. Her voice in the morning hour, she calls me. Radio reminds me of my home far away. So driving down the road, I get the feeling that I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday, it's country roads. Take me home to the place where I belong, to West Virginia, Mountain Mountain. Take me home, country roads. Well, with the Mexican border just two days of riding away, I had to make some big decisions. Continuing on the Niner would mean new wheels, shock maintenance and possibly a new drivetrain. I decided to hitchhike to Utah, where my old bike was. The problem is, I didn't quite budget very well. I had less than a thousand dollars left and enough air miles to fly back from Panama. I patched up Dead Horse and left Silver City. This is uh, my old bike. I got some upgrades. Um, new frame bag. I found my license plates, which I'm really happy about. Um, so it's 26 inch, uh, no full suspension. I didn't even have time to reflect on the Divide bike route and the CDT. The road was calling and I had to go. I had to leave the safety and comfort of Canada and USA. I had to go somewhere new and scary. Somewhere I can find more challenge and find whatever it is I'm looking for. Somewhere south. My soul was new when I came out of the wilderness. My soul was new when I came out of the wilderness. My soul was new when I came out of the wilderness. Believe it.
came out of the wilderness, my soul was new and I came out of the wilderness believing.